All right, everybody, we are back, and we've got... So we're going to be starting off with video games today. Um, you can see everything, right? You're, you're good? You're all set? Okay. I can see um, mm-hmm. Okay, so this next one, I've actually... This next one, I, 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 I was tracking it. I was watching a little bit about it. It's, a, it's kind of a space game. I personally, I haven't heard much about it. Um... Like I saw one, like when I say I was tracking it, I'm talking like a year ago. I heard about this and was a little interested. I don't know if you've heard of this or seen this. No. Okay, so this is kind of a space exploration. It's well, it's not like a space exploration game. It's an exploration game of a of a specific planet. I believe it's just on one planet, but it's in space. So, um, yeah. So let's check it out. Uh, we are watching the trailer for. Are you a gym rat? or even just somebody who works to stay healthy through exercise? If so, I have found your new favorite color. Purple. Purple Works Nutrition offers a pre-workout manufactured right here in the good old US of A. Their pre-workout is formulated by a healthcare professional with a simple, easy to understand list of all natural ingredients with no preservatives or artificial flavors. Action Pack members. In the words of the mighty Grom Hellscream, Why be strong enough when you can be stronger still? By harnessing the power of purple. Purple Works Pre-Workout is the ultimate pre-workout supplement that targets tried and true ingredients that deliver energy, focus, and strength. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You can find a link in the description down below. The Invincible. Launch trailer PS5 games coming at us from PlayStation. We're going to like the video. So here we go. Rethink Human's Dominion in The Invincible, a story-driven adventure set in a hard sci-fi world by Stainlaw Lem. Discover planet Regis Three as a scientist Yasna. Use an, uh, excuse me, use atom punk tools. So you understand when it says like punk, what that means, right? Other mic? Um, I know what a punk is, and Adam Punk, I do not know what that is. Yeah, so when it says, like, steampunk or cyberpunk or any of that stuff, it means, like, this thing, Adam, and then, and mm-hmm. then, and then like, combine it with the technology. So, so like, steampunk, okay. steampunk is where you have, like, futuristic technology. They can do futuristic stuff, but it's all from okay. the era of, like, when they still use steam engines, you know? So you'll have, like, uh-huh. a... Yeah, you'll have like a time machine or something, but it's hooked up to a device with somebody cranking it, you know. And then cyberpunk is like the is is like where it's all futuristic technology and it does futuristic stuff, and it's all has to do with like cyberware that they put on mm-hmm. your body, and it's where people with mm-hmm. robotic arms and yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so Adam Punk, I don't exactly know what Adam Punk would be, but think probably something like cyberpunk or steampunk. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so Adam Punk Tools looking for a missing crew and face unforeseen threats. So you're the scientist, you're doing that. Make choices in a philosophical story that's driven by science. The Invincible, out now on PS5. Mm. Okay, right. so I, I, I'm going to tell you the only thing I know of this game that I've heard of it is that it is good, but it is a slow mm-hmm. burn. Like, it's a slow-paced game. Okay. It's it's, des- it's designed for you. So so the way that I think of games like this is like imagine where you watch like a drama movie. Like have you ever seen um, Jeremiah Johnson or mm-hmm. uh, I've seen Jer- those Johnson. yeah those kind of slower paced movies. But you know it's a movie, so they only have two hours. So it, they're still yeah. like ski- okay. But imagine where instead of where it moves from scene to scene and there's time jumps, it's like you're literally just spending every minute with that guy until the end of the story. So that's why it's, yeah. So, so like imagine a 20 hour game where it's like all very slow and there's like long scenes of atmospheric music while you're walking around or looking at different scenery and trying to discover secrets, stuff like that. So that's how I describe games like this. They can be good. They can be good, but sometimes some people, you know, they want something a little faster paced. So, so it depends on what you're into, but um, yeah, I've heard that this one is a good one. It's just, it is a slow paced game. So, so, um, yeah. Anything you want to, any mentions you want to, uh, or sorry, comments you want to make about the game based on, uh, anything that we've said so far, the com or the description or anything? No, I, no, I, I kind of understand what you're saying. It's a slow game, but it could, could still be really good. 
Okay. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, so we've got a one minute and 21 second uh, trailer. Are you ready? The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Here we go. Down you go, oh bright sun. Time to let the night in. For my legs are heavy. And feel is not inviting. The legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Okay. Nice graphics. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, slightly stylized, but but yeah, definitely. Yeah, inside his helmet or inside the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, you see what I'm saying though. Like this feels like this could be a movie trailer. You know what I mean? Right. It was like uh, like the movie with um, Matt Damon where he's on the Mars. Yeah, Kinda the Martian. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a good comparison too, because like you're kind of yeah. like crash landed. You're looking for this crew member. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So obviously, some combat. Or I. I, I don't know if there's so I, I again I'm not trying to bring in a bunch of stuff that I've read about this from outside of this trailer but I don't mm -hmm. know if yeah. there's a lot of so much combat I think that it might be a situation where the all the enemies you have to either avoid them it's like one of those games where you have to avoid enemies you can't actually fight them because the like right. these giant these giant robots I think it's something like if the giant robot sees you and shoots you you die like that's it it's not like you're gonna fight mm -hmm. the giant robot so. okay. So this is based on a novel. I don't know. Okay. I'll look up. I'll look up the novel real quick. Um, the Invincible novel. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do you think? So, so like I said, kind of like a movie trailer. You can see that they're trying to make you. They're trying to make you feel something. Um, yeah. In the tra in the trailer, and I think that that's what the game. I don't. I'm not exactly sure how long the game is, but. Yeah, that's why I said like imagine imagine one of those really slow burn dramatic yeah. cinematic movies, but like a twenty hour experience because you're playing a game. Right, uh, right. Yeah, there is a novel. I'm yeah, I'm looking it up. Here's the here's the novel in case you guys are interested in the novel. Uh, right here, the Invincible. Not to be confused with Invincible, which is um, Amazon Prime show. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you, so do you play games like this? Is this? It, it kind of reminds me. I think the big, like the the big um, one that a lot of people might know about is like King's Quest. Do you remember the King's Quest games? King's no, Quest was. Um, yeah. It does look interesting. I mean, it, you didn't see a lot of the gameplay in it. I don't think if any. It just looked like it was more. I don't know. I just I didn't see what actually they do. Right. Did so that, so. Th it looked oh, like, you know, on. hey, this is where they crashed. But, I mean, I saw them going around, but I, I don't know. Kind of, I don't know what they do. I mean, I guess they're trying <laughs> to survive. Um, yeah, so so you're trying so like so it's very story driven. That's why I said like the, mm -hmm, these kind of games. Yeah. The, it's it's not gameplay driven. Like it's not like there's combat or anything. You're going to be you're going to. It, it, they have the they have these games they call a lot of times they call them walking simulators because it's literally like you walk from one place to another to get told some part of the story and then you walk right, to another right, place right. you know yeah so it's it's kind of like that that's why I said it's more of a it's more of a like a movie 
movie game type of thing. Um, right. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of The Martian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it so goes the um, the landscape and everything. So, yeah, I mean, the story that they're basically like from the from this description plus what I what I remember from seeing the original trailer because I saw the original trailer for this when it first came out at a at a game con some conference i can't remember which one um it's basically that you're talking on the radio with this guy and he's telling you and you, um kind of guiding you but you're you're walking around trying you're trying to discover what happened with this crashed crew or um uh missing crew members and you're crashing mm-hmm. on this planet and then this actually right here what we're seeing right here is the point that where the trailer ends because this thing starts to power up its laser beam and then I think you run away. You don't actually fight it or anything. Do you think that, that is the switches. enemy right there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it tries to attack you. I, I'm imagining that you're going to be discovering secrets about, oh, what is this alien life? What, what, uh, mm-hmm. what you know, how does, what happened on this planet? and Stuff like that. Because there's, mm-hmm. there's settlements here. There's fish. Yeah, there's settlements here. And it looks like basically the settlement kind of disappeared. So... Um, yeah, King's Quest was a similar kind of game where there was, like, no combat. It was all either small mini-game puzzles, or it would be about, like, going to different places throughout the map. No combat, but then you would, you would like, find certain items, and, and, and they would piece together kind of a, what the right. story is. And then you and then once you kind of figured out what the story was, you could, like, go talk to an NPC and give him different items, and that would progress further, you know, stuff like that. But that right. was a really old one, so, but... Yeah, so I mean, if if you're looking for a more uh, chill experience, a more kind of just like a like I said, a twenty hour, sixteen to thirty hour movie, maybe um, this one might be. I'm not sure how sure how long this game is, but I'm just saying, like, I think like a, a, a super long movie because you're going to be playing through it yourself, and and it's a video game, so it takes longer. Um, this might be this definitely might be for you. Um, yeah. How much do you think that they're charging for this? I don't. I I don't know how much it costs. I don't know, but I'm gonna guess and just throw the out daughter number forty dollars. Yeah, let, let's check. Actually, I think that that's a reasonable number too because it's not. One second, excuse me. This is my. I was on Steam before. Thirty. Thirty dollars. Okay. Yeah. The deluxe edition is thirty-five. Yeah. So now this came out on yeah the sixth yeah. Um, here on Steam, but so you can get it now for thirty bucks, and you can kind of see there's some more images here of different stuff you're mm-hmm. gonna do. But um, yeah, basically like a like a chill walking simulator type of game, discovering the story, narratively driven kind of stuff. Very positive rating, so yeah, check it out now. It's available on Steam and on consoles. So the Invincible. Um. Yeah, let's see what uh, what the so I I think I it's a slow thing. So for me as a YouTuber and a game reviewer, I would do it to do the review. I would buy this game to do the review in my personal time. I don't know. I I, I tend to like a, something a little bit more fast paced. That's not to say that it's bad, but it so it looks good. It's just maybe not for me. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but let's check out what uh, people say in the comments. Let's see. It looks great. All that's missing is the possibility of playing it with PSVR. That's a good point. PlayStation VR is a... This might be the type of game for that. Um, my friend recon- recommended me this book a long time ago. It's amazing. I'm really going to buy and try that game out because of the history behind it. That's a good point. If it comes from a really good book that also makes... Like for me that goes, oh, you know. That seems like it would be um, something that I might, I might be more interested in just because it comes from... A really good source material. I'm really interested in playing this, but it feels like perfect PlayStation Plus fodder, so I'm going to wait for it to appear on there. So that means one of the free games from PlayStation Plus. So that might be a good point. If I could get it for free on PlayStation Plus, I'd play it. I'd check it out at least. Um, so this is what happened to the Invincible 1 before Mark started messing with Multiverse to... Ah, whatever. <laughs> That's from the, the, the show Invincible. <laughs> so uh, that person was making a joke about that. So yeah. So for $30, it can be yours. Go check it out now on consoles and on PC uh, if you're into something a little bit slower, more narratively driven. Yeah. But otherwise, right. um, let's move on to the next one then. All right. All right, here we go. 
Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.